When you discover something unbelievably rare, you treasure it. In my case, it was not like a rare stone or a rare antique object, although I'm becoming a rare antique object. It was another person with unbelievable number of similarities. In fact, on the opposite sides of the world, we were born the same year, given the same name, and it goes on from there. A mathematician said to have over 50 different items that were the same in two people, it's like one in a Google and a Google is one followed by 100 zeros. The number of people who have ever lived on earth so far is only one followed by 11 zeros. So yep, that's rare. You see, <laughs> we shouldn't have happened yet, but we did, and I believe God had a real reason for bringing us together and letting us know about this amazing story. I'm going to share it with you over the next few episodes. Get excited and be willing to look at life in a whole new arena and how special and rare your own life is. Hobart, Tasmania, Australia. Daryl R. Peebles and Elsha Steen, Steen uh, have arrived on the property, and I know that you have given them a rousing welcome that was heard all the way back to Australia. Uh, in fact, to help you out with that today, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation is on hand to cover this event, and we're really pleased about that. We're so grateful to them for making it possible for the people in Australia to share in the excitement of this unusual story. We also welcome all the people from various forms of media who are covering this for television, radio, newspaper, and magazine. A movie is being filmed of the week-long activities, including the shows at the Paramount Theater, and will be available in DVD form. Uh, details for ordering can be obtained by calling the church here at 228-1974. And for the many members who help with tons of details, the Best Western Graham Inn, Governor Easley and Congressman Coble, Mayors Peterman and Ross, Robert Cox, Petty Officer Pona, the Alamance County Arts Council, Linda Lashendock of Action Video, Carolina Dork Incorporated for the chair covers, Stephen and Levi Matkins, Will Mann, Aline Fondle, Dave Wright, Lynn Gross of the Paramount Theater, 
All the advertisers in the Playbill, all the businesses who display posters, Mark Ryman, Mafalda McVeigh, our hostess with the mostest, and especially Rhonda and Burton Peebles, who not only helped a great deal, but also put up with my many late hours. Thank you for keeping the sidewalks clear today, uh, and be careful when you leave today, watch for children, and drive slowly. The gentleman that uh, we are welcoming today was born in 1949. Now, for some of you kids, that seems like an eternity, but uh, trust me, it's not. And that was just like me. I was born in 1949. And he was also given the name Daryl R. Peebles. His ancestors immigrated from Scotland, so did mine. He had a child in 1975, so did I. He had a child in 1977, so did I. The total number of his children is three, so is mine. He began a career in communications and media, so did I. He switched to public service, so did I. As a side career, he has been heavily involved in entertainment, so have I. He does magic shows, so do I. He plays the guitar and sings, so do I. He does ventriloquism, so do I. He developed a character with ugly teeth and big glasses, so did I. His father was from a small town, so was mine. His father worked on a turning lathe, so did mine. He has a service uniform, so do I. He was filmed in a commercial, so was I. He helped produce a safety film, so did I. He's a writer, so am I. He's going to England, I'm not. <laughs>So the story that began in 1649 when Captain David Peebles left Fife, Scotland and his two sons were separated after 357 years, it comes full circle today when these two men who have lived parallel lives in opposite parts of the world have now discovered each other and are now ready to meet for the first time ever. So. People in Graham and Alamance County, North Carolina, help me give one of the biggest and warmest welcomes ever offered for Daryl R. Peebles of Hobart, Tasmania, Australia, and his partner, Elsha Steen. It's fun to be here. <laughs> it's fun to be here. <laughs> I am so glad to welcome you to this wonderful place. And before we do anything, I have two things I need to read from people that would like to have been here but could not. Uh, Mr. Daryl R. Peebles, Hobart, Tasmania, Australia. Dear Mr. Peebles, it is my privilege to welcome you to Alamance County, North Carolina, and to the United States. Mary joins me in welcoming you to North Carolina. We wish you continued success and happiness and an enjoyable visit with Mr. Darrell R. Peoples. With kindest regards, I remain very truly yours, Mike Easley, Governor of the State of North Carolina. Dear Reverend Peebles, I appreciate the invitation to attend the events surrounding the visit of Daryl R. Peebles from Tasmania. However, I regret that I'm unable to be with you due to prior commitments. On behalf of the citizens of the 6th Congressional District of North Carolina, I would like to take the opportunity to welcome Mr. Peebles to our area. North Carolina and Alamance County are blessed with beautiful scenery and friendly people. During his stay, I hope he has the time to visit some of our interesting sites this region has to offer. I found your story to be quite fascinating. I know you both will enjoy visiting during your time together. Again, I thank you for the invitation, and I extend my best wishes for an enjoyable visit. Sincerely, Howard Coble, Member of Congress. Mm -hmm. At this time, uh, we have a special presentation to make. Uh, there are two people that really uh, deserve a round of applause and a special pat on the back and commendation because it's the two people that have to put up with the two Daryls. Okay, so would Elsha and Rhonda please come forward. 
On behalf of Historic Providence Christian Church, we would like to present you two ladies with these wonderful roses. We thank you so much, and my son Bert is his stand. And uh, we just appreciate you ladies and you son allowing us to be the nuts that we are. And we do thank you for that. Thank you. Let's give them a round of applause. But uh, Darrell, we'd like to give the microphone to you and uh, just have a chance to speak to these wonderful people. Thank you, Darrell. We, uh, I guess you uh, explained to these lovely people that the way we differentiated was by little nicknames like uh, he's two R's on one R. So thank you on uh, two R's or, uh, you know, he's up there, I'm down under. So thank you up there. What he didn't say was uh, this genetic line that we seem to have come from, from um, the uh, early 17th century in Scotland also has good looks. Very good looking chap, isn't it? I like this one. <laughs> the other thing I guess is uh, we're really, really thrilled to here to be here in North Carolina and it is a beautiful state. And as Elsha and I drove from the um, the airport this morning, we commented on how lush and beautiful it was and it did remind us very much of Tasmania, which is also lush and beautiful and also has beautiful friendly people just like you and thank you so much for turning out the guys from the uh, fire service that met us this morning, Mathalda, who, who's uh, really been our greatest uh, ally through all this, um, the guys from the police department who have uh, made us feel so welcome and of course the people here, the general people. Um, just on the history of, um, I, I realise because Elsha and I have studied up a, a fair bit on the history of North Carolina and how important this area is, and I was trying to think of some historic link, and the only thing I could come up with is that in 1642 a Dutchman called Abel Jansen Tasman discovered Tasmania on the 24th of November 1642. So I brought with me my partner Elsha, who is, um, <laughs> her parents were Dutch. That's the best I could do. <laughs> so thank you very much again for your lovely warm welcome. Uh, Mayor Jerry Peterman. How are you? Nice to meet you, I recognize you, sir. Ah, that's <laughs> from a video. <laughs> oh, thank you all for being here. On behalf of the citizens of Graham, it's my pleasure and honor to welcome Elsha and Daryl to Graham. Uh, your connection to our own Daryl Peoples is not only amazing, but it's a delightful story. Uh, we are delighted that this journey of 357 years is coming to full circle here at Graham, uh, here at the Providence Church, the birthplace of Alamance County. Uh, I have pronounced the 8th and 9th of this month to be Daryl Daryl and Larry Day. Uh, and we've encouraged everyone to go to the show that they're going to have at the Paramount Theater in Burlington. To show our genuine warmth and appreciation for your visit and to recognize your role for Tasmania, I will protect, give you the key to the city of Graham and let you know if anything we can do to make your stay more uh, rewarding or fulfilling, just let us know, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. At this time, Mayor Stephen Ross, representing the city of Burlington, will come forward. It's my privilege to welcome you to this area on behalf of the citizens of Burlington. Burlington is the largest city in Alamance County. We're pleased that you've chosen the Paramount Theater as the site for your first ever performance together as the Daryl Daryl and it's No Larry Show. No Larry. <laughs> We're really excited about the opportunity to have this show come to Burlington, come to the Paramount, and I'm looking forward to it. We hope your visit to this area is a great experience for you and that you take fond memories back to Tasmania. Just one more side note, I do like this Tasmanian devil. My, my little grandson's nickname is Tasmania, or we'll call him Taz for short, and he's named after this little creature over here. But if there's anything else that we can do in Burlington, and we are really looking forward to the show Saturday night, I haven't seen you perform, but I have seen this guy perform, and he is good. And, uh, and again, we're really looking forward to it. On behalf of the city of Burlington, I would like to make a presentation, if I could, this is, uh, I won't pull it out because it's rather big, but this is the official flag of the city of Burlington that you can uh, carry back with you to the homeland. Thank you very much, sir. 
Thank you. It's wonderful. Thank you. At this time, we have Robert Cox, Vice President of the Burlington Alamance County Convention and Visitors Bureau, who is also responsible for the red carpet out here, Robert. <laughs> As Vice President of the Burlington Alamance County Convention and Visitors Bureau, I'm delighted to help roll out the red carpet for the two of you as you enter our community. The highly unusual and like, unlikely nature of the similarities between you and our own Daryl has created quite a stir here. It has even focused the eyes of those down under on our community through the, Ameri excuse me, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. We are pleased that this historic meeting and all the surrounding events of the week will be here in Alamance County. We trust that you will find everything to your satisfaction and that many others will be encouraged to visit our warm and loving community. And as the others have mentioned, if there's anything we can do for you while you're in the area, please let us know. We'd be happy to help you. And we have a s small token of our appreciation. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Daryl, you will be uh, probably chartering another small airplane to take all this back with you, I'm assuming. Well, uh, in case uh, you didn't know, the uniform that I wear around occasionally is from the fire service, and this gentleman is in the naval service in Tasmania. And we're really delighted today to have Petty Officer Stephen uh, Pona uh, representing the United States Navy here today. Good afternoon, everybody. Now I ran a little behind today, but I was here. <laughs> I was working. Uh, Lieutenant Darrell Peoples, it is my honor to welcome you and bring greetings to you from the United States Navy of America. Our countries have long been allies and worked together in the world to help ensure peace and freedom for all. Your role in the Tasmanian Naval Reserve continues to be instrumental to the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard in its duties and responsibilities in and, and Antarctica. Excuse me. Your ports are often referred to as the gateway to Antarctica. Thanks to you, your country, and the state of Tasmania for, your ex for the excellent service you provide. Welcome to Alamance County. Call upon us if you have any needs that arise while you are here. It is my esteemed privilege, even though I don't know you, but I do know Mr. Peoples over here, because he has called me countless times before your arrival, <laughs> sent me plenty of emails, and never made you know, but I am grateful for the opportunity to be here to meet you as well. Yeah. And it's my esteemed privilege to ask you that if anything you need, whether it be just the talk, conversation, so on and so forth, feel free to stop by our office or give us a call. Thank you very much, Pearson. That's great. Excellent. Thank you. Well, I know that some of you here uh, may have known a little bit about this whole gathering beforehand and you know a lot more now. We did want to give you an opportunity if there are any questions that you have for Daryl or for me or for Elsha or for anyone up here particularly, but especially Daryl, that this would be a good time to field any of those questions. If any of the uh, media or any, any people like that have any questions, uh, just lift your hand and we'll field those at this time. Anybody have a question? Any young people have questions? Yes. How do you feel about being here? Absolutely overwhelmed. It's really wonderful to be here. Um, we've spent a few days in the United States on the other coast, um, in San Francisco, and we found everybody so warm and welcoming. And uh, we knew it was just a taste of better things to come because I had an inkling that uh, anybody called Darrell Peebles wouldn't take things in half measures. And uh, he certainly uh, proved that to be the case. Thank you. Any other questions? Hunter, did you have a question? How did we meet? Oh, how was it? It was great, actually. I just uh, I felt like we've known each other for years, and maybe because we've corresponded by email, um, I knew uh, a little bit about him, and I knew he's got a good gene pool, you know. <laughs> Comes from good stock. That's right. Was there a question in here? I was going to ask, 
Accidental, purely accidental. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we talked. <laughs> maybe we've got to go outside to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did talk on the phone. Yeah. Sure. Going to Scotland this time? Um, no, not this trip. Uh, I was there two years ago and. Uh, um, well, having said that, yes, I am, sorry. I'm, I'm going to um, a, an island north of Scotland called the Shetland Islands. Um, the summer school that I was to attend in England, sadly, had been cancelled because the playwright, who is my um, hero and mentor, Sir Alan Aikborns, had a stroke and they pulled the pin. They, they cancelled the summer school that I was going to attend in England. So I've taken that time to go further north and visit the Shetland Islands. Um, in 2001, we had an arts festival celebrating island culture in Tasmania and we had a lovely group of um, fiddle players called Fiddler's Bid from the Shetland Islands and I made good friends with a couple of those guys and so I hope to catch up with them uh, when I leave here in, um, on the 17th of July. Thank you. Any other? Yes, Mike? Um, with, with the good petty officer here representing the US Navy, I thought it would, might be worth mentioning um, the Port of Hobart is often used by the US Coast Guard as well with their ice breaking, um, the ice breakers, the um, US Coast Guard cutter service that go to Antarctica um, quite regularly. So vessels like uh, the US Coast Guard Polar Star, Polar Sea, the Healy often uh, drop into our port um, for rest and recreation and to reprovision before they head down to the um, Southern Ocean and the Antarctic continent. Very good. Yes. Um, the, Tas the representation of the Tasmanian Devil is quite not quite what the real thing is like. Um, sadly, the the, uh, the Tasmanian Devil, the real one, has had an outbreak of a, um, a small uh, growth on, on their face and they're trying to um, uh, cure that and, um, and isolate it uh, from from spreading and perhaps doing more damage. And, and the Warner Brothers people who developed Taz, the character from our Tasmanian Devil, have actually come to the party and helped with the um, the costs of uh, looking for a cure for that. So that was that's a great relationship that we have between the ca the cartoon character and the real devil. We're going to begin working on the show in a couple of hours. <laughs> And in two days, we're going to have it ready. But it was as Saturday night at 7.30 at the Paramount Theater, 123 Front Street, uh, we will have the show Daryl, Daryl, and No Larry. Uh, in case you're wondering, some of you are very young. There was a show called New Heart, and there was a character that came on that show named Larry. And he would come in and say something to the effect of, Hi, my name's Larry, just my brother Daryl, my other brother Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> and Daryl and Daryl never said a word for seven years. Well, at the last show, it was a reunion, they all came back and Daryl and Daryl had gotten married. And the two wives talked constantly and the show would not stop. And finally, halfway through the show, Daryl and Daryl stood up and said, QUIET! <laughs> that was the only words in seven years in the script for them. Well, now we have Daryl and Daryl together, and the burden is on us to do all the talking, but there's no Larry Peebles, born in 1949 with three kids, etc. And I think we'll probably never find him. But that's how we came up with the name for the show. Now also, Sunday morning, here back in this building, uh, we'll have worship, and Daryl and Elsha will be here for us worshiping. Daryl will be preaching. He doesn't know that yet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Elsha will be singing solo, and the choir's taking the day off. <laughs> Welcome to Graham, right? Now, but uh, he will be here. We may uh, pull a few of our people's people together do a little quick song that day, but you're welcome to come worship Sunday at 3 back at the Paramount for the Daryl, Daryl, and No Larry Show, and then at 7 o'clock Sunday evening at the Arts Council, Council at the Captain White House at 213 South Main Street, there will be a community reception. If you just want to get together and, and talk with the cast members, particularly Daryl, uh, that would be a great opportunity. That's free also, it would be refreshments. And then at 7.30 on Tuesday evening, uh, we'll be at the Graham City Council meeting. 
Um, that's about it for today. If there are no other questions, we're so glad you came. We're right on schedule, believe it or not, <laughs> and we're just delighted that you're here, and we appreciate you kids being here making a big noise when you came to town and all those that helped. And uh, rehearsals are going to begin now, and I would just like for everyone to stand. We'd like to have the closing benediction, if you would, please. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the safety of everyone today, particularly Daryl and Elsa as they've come around the world to hear. We thank you for the opportunity to celebrate this reunion of uh, a family line and of, of, of these two people that uh, are connected already before they even knew it. We thank you so much for being able to bring goodness out of this to this community and back to Tasmania and Australia. And we just pray, Lord, that our connection and the things we do would bring goodness to this world and help bring the world together through the magic of laughter and love. And we give you the praise and glory for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, they're making a movie. So when the cameras are looking at you, wave and talk to them. And then if you get a DVD, you may see yourself in the movie. So the only thing I have to say from a good old southern boy is, have a good day, mate. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming. This is Daryl R. Peebles, the man behind the microphone, bringing you something positive each day from the Peebles Motivation Bureau, both positive, personal, and professional. Remember, there are three divisions, digital, real life, and print. But in the digital, we have not only the YouTube channel, but the website, Zoom events, and much more. In the real life, we do pulpit supply, funerals, weddings, magic shows, keynote speakers, and more. And in the print division, not only books, but magazine articles, newspapers, and custom artwork. Locally ordered books from me can get signatures and special discount. This one is already out and about, helping others. Churches and pastors have special discounts. I appreciate you, your ideas and support. Keep them coming. These are other areas that I might be able to help you. And these are my contact points. This is Daily Dose of Daryl responding to the free and gracious gift of God. I am using humor, the art of illusion, modern technology, and decades of serving God and communities to work every day to uncover the beauty in all people and experiences coming my way, endeavoring to educate, entertain, and inspire. Each dose on this channel can help move us toward a better, healthier, and more informed mind, body, and spirit. I'm excited to be a small part of the expanding of our capacity to learn, love, and forgive, and together leave this world a better place for all. God bless you.